Ah, oh, freaking Yangtze. Okay, we're gonna get to Champ Select. What a great day it's been so far. Oh. We're gonna see the legendary Zed on Rev. Or Rev on Zed. Is that Yangtze messaging me? Who do you guys think is gonna win? The uh, the All Star mod team or mods never win, dude. They have Revtastic. It's over already. Come on now. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm I'm thinking that the players have the advantage here in this one. I think based on individual skill and the champions that have been distributed, it's looking like a player win in my opinion. Yeah, I'm not a really sold on this team. Uh. Oh. Definitely oh. like the other. Oh. Woo! Wait, Sparkway and Ghost Clarity? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have that mana sustained for the team, dude. He's just being a team player. That's all it is. Oh, yeah. The Rumble and Zed, uh, don't want them to go in. Yeah. Aurelian Soul just really looking to have that W permanently activated, so he, he <laughs> begged Spark on his hands and knees to take that, cl that clarity. Uh, I'm not ready for this, man. I haven't been ready the entire day. It was like a serious cast the first game, then it went all to hell <laughs> once. <laughs> yeah, I was listening over, and it was like, it was going fucking crazy with all the memes being dropped. And now, and now we're just... We have Kekel. We should oh, have yeah. had Yangsu, but that <laughs> butthole took forever. We'll try and get Yangsu on the next one if it's not the PP cruise time. All right, based on the uh, the champions and the the players on each team, who do you think is going to be the superstar of each team? All right, superstar for the admins is definitely going to be Revtastic. He's going to feed. Oh, yeah. A storm. <laughs> Meanwhile, the superstar on the side of um, players is going to be Revtastic, as he's going to feed a storm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Pulling out the best of both worlds. Revtastic is the best player in AE, confirmed. <laughs> the most valuable player. Oh man, this is, this is not even going to be... This is not going to be fun to watch. You're just gonna see Revtastic go in, and then instantly just spawn back at the fountain for some reason. Dude, Gray I'm screen, I'm, get, I'm I'm pulling up my figure. What was that audio clip? I'm ready for it. <laughs> I'm ready for Rev to uh, to go down. I mean, uh, go down. I feel like uh, you know, shout out to the boy Infinite Rampage. I think he's gonna pop off. Oh God, why do you think that? Oh God. <laughs> oh God. Uh... <laughs> Oh on that God. starter with the ghost mark. <laughs> <laughs> bad player, bad champion. He's got to pop off. No flame. Yo, dude, that's that's too direct. You got to chill. Uh. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Uh, I heard he did good this Dragon League season. I'm terrible. very curious to see how Scoop performs on this Aurelian Soul. <laughs> Is Yangsu banned? <laughs> oh god. Banned? From chat on the thing. Yangsu, you gotta uh, tell me what account, man. I, I actually have no group. idea. <laughs> He's in general just chilling. <laughs> Where's that? Where's that monkey at? Yangsu! You have to tell me on Discord, you monkey! <laughs> One of the beautiful things about Ariams is if you have a Yi or a Jax, uh, not a Jax, a Yi or a Jinx, you're uh, guaranteed a Quadra Penta. At least two Quadras. Oh yeah. And I'm not familiar with this Yi player, so uh, we're gonna see. We're gonna see what's gonna happen. 
Yeah, I actually have not seen this guy around, but it looks like he did opt for Bloodlust instead of Fervor, so the pop-off potential has been decreased just a bit. Yeah. Oh, let's fix up the stream. Let's see. So for those of you just joining us, this is Ascension Esports' one-year anniversary. We're getting into the staff versus players matchup. And uh, we have an interesting game for you. Nothing much else to say. Our first game was a nice little clown fiesta where we see JLC win with the Jin Jungle. <laughs> we got into our second game, and we went full fiesta mode as the entire casting desk broke down into just Xyleon chance. Now we're here. New set of casters. Been a new set every single game. We got Keckle. We got Korin the Cat. And we got a party waiting for us in this game. Yeah, still waiting for Spark to actually uh, fix his internet. His his client seems to bug splat every time he plays League of Legends, dude. The game just rejects him that much now. <laughs> Yeah, so we are waiting for that load screen to stop. Who are we waiting on? Spark still? Oh my god. Oh yeah. Who else, dude? Uh, Spark taking forever. Just like he does with replies from players. Looking for a little bit of help. I'm AFK. What an interesting load screen, though. If you look at Spark, he's gone for the all blue everything. Look at that. Oh, uh, yeah. Blue summoner spells, blue keystone, blue summoner icon. He's ready for this. It's the new yeah. disco, new new. And, and he's on the blue side of the map. Whoa. So he's got. Oh! <gasps> just to top it off, dude. Yeah. If, uh, if only he was diamond last season. What a shame. If only there was a blue Jarvan skin. Is there a blue Jarvan skin? If there is, uh, Spark will find a way to get it. Oh, for sure, dude. We gotta pull him in for the post-game interview and ask him what his favorite color is, because if it's not blue, I'm gonna be very upset. Post-game interview? Why do a post-game interview when you can have a middle-of-the-game interview? Where's Spark at? I'm taking Spark, what's your favorite color? The rest of you aren't doing anything. What? It's blue, it's blue. Spark likes... They said blue! They said blue! Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, there's a hype in that. Oh, they, they did say blue. They did <laughs> say blue. Yeah, that's what I expect. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. We're, we're we're gonna start this off quite cleanly. Hey Ram. Ooh. Robert Dole kicking off the game with some fresh damage on the E with. The... Ooh, I'm ready for it, dude. I'm Absolutely. so ready for this game. Oh, and Spark. He's on the ghost. The ghost. Spark looking to do the disrespect ghost. And look at that. Harkin Scythe can't even land an auto on a still target. Wow. <laughs> Impressive play coming out from him this game so far already. Not even two minutes in. I like the strategy from Scoop. He's going into the bush so people can actually see the barrels. That's a team play right there. Absolutely. You gotta reveal all your cards. Yeah, two, wrong team though. I don't know, how do you try cast an ARAM? I don't know, dude. You just gotta, like, you gotta get on the action. You gotta be the first one to get on the action. Oh, speaking of action, Demoglio looking to go in, and there's the start on Demoglio. Demoglio taking a lot of damage, able to get under the tower just in time, and no one has died yet. And Omnia Vanitas only takes the kill from all Spark, but overall, no one falls. <laughs> dude, you sound like one of those, uh,. Those auctioneer guys who's like on those auction shows, like they're auctioning off like um uh, stuff. What are they called? Stuff. Not just stuff. <laughs> they're auctioning off like the uh, the storage units. Oh stuff. yeah, storage wars. Yeah, yeah storage oh. wars. You sound like one of those. <laughs> yeah, Desrox was very uh, revved up right there. Oh my God. Get me, <laughs> dude. Get me out of this. <laughs> why, why did I agree to do this? I didn't- I didn't know Kekka was like this. <laughs> I didn't know Corrin was basically Trick 2G. Oh, what no. do you mean, dude? 
Now you sound like uh, dude, Trick 2 <laughs> You sound like Trick 2G trying to do a night blue impression. Oh, oh my fucking god, dude. <laughs> I actually really want to hear that now. I'm really curious as to what listen that would to sound like. Listen your own voice! Unmute the stream! <laughs> <laughs> This is oh, a you're, Christian server. You're right, you're Christian right. You're right, let me... Uh, switch. No, dude, I think I just listened. I feel like I sound like that typical that, that typical squeaky you run into on Call of Duty Black Ops. Yeah, Tricky G. <laughs> <laughs> and we see Spark chilling out again with the ghost. Oh, he has popped the ghost. Spark really just Very does not care. <laughs> but one of these days, he's gonna sit there way too far up, take a skill shot, die, roll over dead, but at least he'll be on the blue ground in peace. Now I haven't played Ariams in a while, but maybe that's a new strat. Maybe standing still and ghosting it just it's a BM move. Yeah, for sure. Maybe maybe it accelerates your XP gain. Yeah. Alright, sorry, I had to uh time out Yang Su <laughs> for thirty <laughs> seconds. <laughs> You have to sing it in person, yeah, I'm corner. sorry. Alright, here we go, Fight bringing out Demoglio, looking to do the body slam, Robert Dole looking to return with the rockets, but nothing happens once again! We're still at 0-0! Zero, zero. The tension is so... so tense! This is so tense tension! <laughs> <laughs> looks to me like everyone's just a bit too hesitant, dude. They're not, they're not ready to jump into the fray. The tension in Ascension is not ascending. But it is ascending. It is ascending. That's why there has been no deaths. We're gonna see the first Aram with one death. <laughs> <laughs> it's still it's gonna be how low all Spark is. Yeah, dangerously low. He's waiting for his ghost to come back up. Ooh, there's a pretty good time to come out. Does stem out of that, but Nova does go in, but jumps away with a playful trickster right away. Not ready to get in too much of an elongated scrap. Ooh. What rhymes with attention and ascension? Uh, oh, oh, there we go. Fight coming out. Ooh. Body slam flash first. Blood all spark picks it up. Now Nova Typhoon, them know of it all. Gets Cataclysm trying to make something happen. All spark barely able to survive. Picks up one. And now there goes the ultimate. On to um, the gank, like whoever that is. I don't even. Who is that? Is that even an admin? I don't know. The fight's still continuing. At Omnia, Vanitas looking to get towards Revtastic. Oh, looking to run yeah. from Revtastic. Instead, dies to the tower. Oh, he took the tower shot. And that is a 4 for 3 exchange. But seriously, who's PP Good Top? <laughs> uh, I, I have no idea. Oh, maybe that's. Um, is that Fug? Fug Nuggler, yeah. Fug. Looking to run it down and pass the tower so we can get that little bit of a purchase. The 13 CS, one kill. He's probably got loads of gold. Okay, okay. So we are verified that it is the Fug Nuggler. But 4 for 4 what a fight between these two teams. They're really just showing these this super advanced mechanical playstyle that you expect out of the admins. Yeah, for sure. I don't know about that fourth kill, though, going over to the players, because that more or less looked like an intentional feeding situation. The admins wouldn't do that. That's a bannable offense. Yeah, that All is right. a bannable offense. So we will have to talk to Fugnagler at some point during or after the game. Explosive cast, keys. We're going to see if there's an engagement. No. All right. Now after that uh, that death, we'll see if Fugnagler's willing to reform. I don't know. After the after that barrel placement, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, look at the Moglio over and over going with the yeah. punishment. Anyone gets too close, body slam right into the belly. But speaking of punishment, oh, Harkin Scythe is here. He wants to get something done. Change his name to something tryhard like Infinite Rampage. And now, <laughs> and on the Avanitas, looking to try and get something done. But thanks to the Alpha Strike, he's a little bit deep into the infamous No Man's Land. There goes the Equalizer. We see two down so far. One, one apiece. And now the trades are going out. It looks like the admins are going to win this fight in HeyQ. And Ed Omni Avanitas having to back off. But look at that play from Ed Omni Avanitas. He's able to pick up the Revtastic. Typical Revtastic looking to feed as usual, but falls is Ed Omnia Vanitas to Fugnuggler. 
Bug Nuggler willing to in feed to get that kill, but he doesn't even get it in the end, and Omnia <laughs> ends up getting the kill credit for that. Looks like he's not willing to reform not at, all. at all. Will be reported, banned, and uh, excluded from all future AE events. <laughs> Okay, can we back up though? Imagine you're on Xbox Live, you're playing some Halo, and this kid comes up to you, and his name is Infinite Rampage. Oh, I thought you were about to say Corin the Cat, dude. I was actually a little bit worried. His, his name would be Infinite Rampage, but it'd sound like Corin. Yeah, and yeah. He's this, uh, whatever the equivalent of a Bronze 5 scrub is. And he's just trying to trash talk you. What do you do? Uh... Talk, talk about his mom. <laughs> <laughs> give him the old yo, give him the old yo mama jokes, dude. Yeah. Oh, man. He only needs the XX on it. <laughs> or a 69 oh, or a 420 yeah. at the end. Or 420. Tentacion. <laughs> so so far, it looks like the admins are getting the better of this fight, which is very unusual because admins usually. You know, they tend to They're go ahead They're usually and... the plebeians of League of Legends. Yeah, they usually tend to just fugnuggler it. Yeah, they run <laughs> it down without contributing anything while doing it. I guarantee, I bet if Red Flame was here, he'd have quite a few things to say about Fugnuggler's performance thus far. Absolutely. Red Flame, also known as Real Life Gangplank. And there we go, Allspark going in, it's a leading! Hey Q, now Chum the Waters onto Allspark, gets picked off for some reason using the ultimate infinite rampage, I'm not understanding what that ultimate does. Now Ed Omnia and Vanitas getting caught out by the death mark, trying to go in, doesn't really get much infinite rampage, looking to run away, wants to get a piece of Revtastic, and that is like getting a piece of the freest pie in the world. And now so far the exchange going back and forth, Nova Typhoon dropping the Fug Nuggler, the Int Man has finally got a kill under his belt. He actually has three, excuse me for saying that one, Infinite Rampage, gonna drop next. And the admin's looking good. Yeah, looking like uh, everybody but Revtastic is doing quite well for themselves here on the admin squad. Unless you actually want to consider Fugnickler as a player here. He's kind of a, he's a non-factor here in this game as he looks to be dying here to the, the Omnia God himself. Oh, uh, yeah. This doesn't look good for Spark as well as he drops to Demoglio. And, oh, Robert Dole is here! What are the main admin? Oh, God, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I like I liked what you slid in there, how, uh, when Revtastic dies, you're like, yeah, like a piece of the freest pie in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't even, would never have thought of that one, dude. Clean casting. <laughs> clean, absolutely clean. Yeah. All right, all right. Getting back into this so far, the admins are doing pretty well. There goes the explosive cast, gets stunned Sick up by a spooky. There was an attempt. Yeah, it was worth a shot. And actually, Demoglio is opting for the full AP build. No, oh, it's right as the ghost. Oh, Spark. <laughs> it's gotta be doing something though, either one point. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I really like Spark's build so far. Oh yeah, I love it. The Essence Reaper on the Jarvan. Got out. the blue build, Jarvan. The bl <laughs> Maximizing his blueness. Blue <laughs> Jarvan. <laughs> there we go, the Mugly looking to get on the Fug Nuggly. Fug Nuggly gets deleted. Hey Q able to flash out of the Cataclysm, and we're gonna see Ed Omni of Anatos probably drop next. Does fall. But fight going back and forth. Revtastic actually doing a pretty good job. That's extremely surprising coming out of him. Demoglio going to drop next. It looks like Revtastic wants to get a piece of Infinite Rampage. Infinite Rampage looking to run as fast as he can. Revtastic getting a little bit too close. Almost gets hit by the tower, but it looks like Infinite Rampage will drop. And once again, Admins winning it out. Robert Dole taking it for the team. What a patriot. Yeah, definitely the most respectable of them all. Dying for the team on that rumble as they pick up the kill onto Bronze 5 Rampage. <laughs> Dying for the fried scorpion. <laughs> Ooh, Omnia's got the yeah. MS. Q's up again, but... We're not used to w. seeing... His, his W's not up! We're not used to seeing Rev run backwards when he runs it down. Uh, nice uh, flash from, uh, from uh, E there. Oh my goodness. 
And looks like they want to go oh, onto Ed on the Avanitas. And on the Avanitas, will he fall? No, meditates oh, right goodness. out yeah, of that. That's what it does! Oh, it <laughs> the uh, ultimate from uh, from GP there. Definitely uh, <laughs> do it with it. <laughs> oh god, Robert Dole. Don't die. America needs you. He is Ooh. able to survive. And there goes the Moglio Chum the Waters used onto Robert Dole. And what a tragedy it is on this day. Robert Dole has fallen Ascension Esports, is in mourning, but not all Spark as he looks to move forward. Doesn't really get anything. Probably going to use his amazing tactic of Ghost and Standsteel. Now, I'm really curious as to why Spark did not actually opt for the tier in this build. Uh, do you guys, like, have you guys ever seen a Jarvan not go tier recently? <laughs> have you yeah, ever seen uh, Rev not feed? No, the answer is no. And there we go. A feeding rev spark has popped the ghost. Oh, oh it's no my time food. What was that? <laughs> oh my god. That's a reaver definitely proving to be the best item you can buy on Jarvan nowadays, other than tier, which I'm still curious as to why he didn't buy it. He's got the he's got the merch res, got the essence reaver, but he just will not buy the, the core oh. item in that tier. Ed Omnia winning that one out. That's a clean ace for the players as they look to make a comeback. Whew, someone needs to bench Rovtastic. For real. Yeah, Dole went in there, but uh, the players are used to Robert Dole's flame, so... <laughs> Going Didn't... straight in for I'm a Scoopy, we just get run down by Omni, and pops the Q, Alpha Strike, pops no the W, the damage which we die. Oh, oh, oh Ripperino! Yeah, what in the world is going on here? Rovtastic gets caught up with the explosive power. gas. But who's really caught out? Look at that. I mean, Rovtastic technically was caught out, but Scoop saved him. Jump the waters, use on Revtastic. What's gonna happen next? We all know. Goodbye, Whoa. Revtastic. No way, able to use the death mark. It's deleted, as to be expected from Revtastic. Now Robert Dole looking to get some America down onto Harkin's oh. Scythe. Now the chase is on. I'm a scoop you going after Hey Q. Hey Q barely out of range, but no longer the case. He is able to get under the tower. The tower slither of health left. Meanwhile, all spark wants a piece of Nova Typhoon, gets dropped by Hey Q. Spark did not have the Cataclysm up there because... Oh wait, now I see what he's building. He's got the Frozen Mallet. I'm oh. liking the blue build Jarvan. Oh, a stun on Ed Omnia. Ed Omnia does drop. So does Scoop. And so will Demoglio. Now Fugnuggler's here. What is Fugnuggler gonna do? He's gonna hit the spell shell just to disrespect oh. him. And now Fugnuggler... <laughs> <laughs> okay, the, the disrespect didn't work. Antonis <laughs> as usual. He's pretty dead. <laughs> Oh my god, what am I casting, man? <laughs> oh no. Reftastic. Looking to take out AQ. Death Mark deletes him. Only way Reftastic can get a kill is if they're super oh, low. Oh, they have the water one shot. Goes off. Look Nova for the one shot Typhoon on Allspark. Destroys up Allspark getting ready to drop the Cataclysm. Will it come out? Is it even on cooldown? No, it's not. He didn't even try and steal the kill using the Cataclysm. That's very questionable coming out of Allspark. Yeah, definitely not BM enough for his for his allies. <laughs> oh, and he is the Ghost Lady. Oh, into the ghost my combination goodness. by Allspark. What? Oh, it's like daunting champion prowess, and he pops the clarity when both when all of his team has full mana. One of the things that's underestimated about this game is the psychological aspect of this game. And look at all spark, bring it! Using the ghost, using the cataclysm. That ghost right there is why Harkin Scythe is dead. Absolutely great psychological Harkin battle. Uh, complete disrespect for uh. Harkin Scythe as he sees the ghost clarity popped, feels, no, I'm not in any danger. But then the cataclysm comes out and takes him down swiftly. Oh, and Omnia running really fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta bring the pain. Flashes out with the jukes for days and down. Go scoop you to one of the bouncing crits. Now the fight still going on to Moglio. Looking to get onto Robert Dole. Robert Dole doesn't want America to fall down this way. He's not going to give America up to communism as he walks out of that alive. Standing next to his flag, tall and strong as ever, but then the flag just despawns into thin air. <laughs> I didn't what, the what was that? The guy... He's gone. Where'd he go? <laughs> oh god, please. Uh, Rev trying to get away. Doesn't look like oh. that's gonna be the case. Actually Ooh. takes out Nova Typhoon. 
Barely able to pull that one off. Now Infinite Rampage going after Fugnuggler. Fugnuggler gonna get stunned up by the auto, but no. Out goes the Boomerang, taking out. What was that, Fugnuggler? Yeah, and now Scoopy going after Hey Q. He's running critically low, trying to outplay Scoop. it, but instead outplays himself. Now Robert Dole with the flamethrower, bringing out the American justice, bringing the pain. But now he actually gets to, oh god. Oh my, oh my <laughs> god. Absolute savagery from Demoglio's stomach. Okay, I'm trying. Explosive class. Oh my. I'm trying to be biased here, but Robert Dole seriously needs to America harder. I really like the attempted outplay from I'm a Scoop You. He, he made his stars go the maximum radius and then flashed on top of Sivir so that it could what? not hit anybody. Spark, no! Oh, he still gets oh. the kill. What a beast. Oh, now we see Spark finally opting for that quick charge tier. Oh my goodness. What is going on? And Omnia looking to use the Highlander to get some work done, but Robert Dole works him instead. And now we see Scoop. Going on the chase, Rampage. is going to get stunned up. Rampage in the middle of no man's land will drop to Robert Dole Harkinsight, a bad player and a bad caster at the same time. And now Nova <laughs> Typhoon doing the BM on the sidelines. Will Revtastic take the bait? Moment of silence. And no, he goes after no, Robert Nova Dole was instead. Not a block clone. You see, that was a misplay. You get the free kill if you go after Riftastic. Went after Robert Dole. He wanted to make fun of America. America made fun of him. Absolutely. I gotta ask you. What's the strategy for the admins? How do they keep it alive? How do they stop Rev from feeding? Okay, so the first step is going to be to DDoS the Revtastic and get him out of the game as quick as possible to avoid any more uh, goal being transferred over to the player's team. But other than that, I think they need to uh, maybe consider giving Fugnuggler a, a champion swap. Maybe something like a, like a Zareth where he, he doesn't need to walk into the enemy team. Because <laughs> it seems he just oh he, lo he loves it to the point where it becomes intentional feeding. I think uh, Pug oh. challenged Rev to a run it down uh, battle. Wouldn't doubt it. Oh god. But now it's a clean ace. That, that might be the game. Players. And with the death timers being at least 20 seconds apiece, it's looking like this could be an end to the game, but there's no minions actually to, to clean up the towers. No, they just we'll want to clean them out with brute force. They do have a little bit of tank on their side, so maybe they'll be able to pull it off. Demogli almost dies to a tower. Meanwhile, we see... The Alpha Strike used on the minions. Expert use of that. Look at Nova Typhoon going after Fugnuggler. The Nexus is oh, exposed. No, the Getting melted. 20 minutes into this game. Looks like we're about to see the ending. But here comes Allspark. Able to get one kill. No, it's actually Robert Dole who did it for America. But unfortunately, lost it for America as well. At least we can say Robert Dole fought for America as best he could. And Spark ended the game with Ghost active. So he did, he did everything he possibly could yeah. to maintain that blue build Jarvan and represent his favorite color. I mean, the thing is, when it comes to playing with Revtastic, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta let him know, hey, stop feeding, man. Please, just <laughs> stop feeding. He hasn't had his intervention yet. God bless him. Now, I, I'm... Very, I would have been extremely happy if we could have come to a later conclusion to the game because I was really excited for Spark to uh, finish off that build with the Zonia's Hourglass. But I guess he just it was not meant to be. He couldn't get six blue items on the blue map with the blue summoner spells on the blue team. So we are going to have a post-game interview with Spark. I want him to be troll. We need to do on Howling Abyss. Oh. Hello, Spark. Welcome to the post-game interview, Spark. <laughs> hey, how's it going, man? Well, wait a second. Hold on, I was in the middle of a conversation. No, Spark, well, Spark. Well, how does it feel to have to carry something as heavy as Reptastic? I mean, you know, I, I finished off the game with my full blue build. I'm okay with that. I am well, well, satisfied. Well, speaking of that build, that build did massive damage. That was great. Game, looking at the end of the game, I actually see a phage, which is not a blue item. So what? It has a blue with? background, and I started the game with that item. Okay, yeah, I, I, I think it. that's more of a green background, my friend. That is green. <laughs> um, Perhaps the uh, the blue lever 
did not love Blue all along. Maybe I mean, his, no, maybe his eyes had fooled lost. him. But I wasn't fully dedicated to the art. I'm sorry. This is all my fault. I wish I'm I'm curious as to why you didn't go for something like a Zonia's Hourglass to, to round out that build. Robert Dole told me not to go AP. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Well, it is Robert Dole, and he represents the world and life itself. So, listening to him might not be a bad idea. Is it going to be another staff game? Ah, uh, I think there is. <laughs>